that out of the way. <laughs> you the fucking water, what's going on? Oh, fuck. <laughs> That shit was fucking crazy, dude. I literally felt like, like if I was going to like fucking back to the future and shit, dude. Look at this shit. Like, I know the cars. Like I roll up and like yo, aftermarket exhaust, there's a lot of heat wrap, big ass tire in the back, and then that sticker. No time it is. What is it we do? What does the keep your race does? Refund. On a Sunday, what we're doing, you know, someone said we work too much. We don't work too much, we fucking love what we do. So, finalize this. I think Kundo's ripping apart a car, isn't he? Taking apart uh, the gray R8. The goal is to have that thing done by the end of this week. Just making moves, baby. Pumping them out. Let's talk about this badass car we just got in. Let me get my hat on. Gotta turn the music off so we don't get copyrighted. Check this shit out. Damn. So, this car belongs to a special friend of ours. We'll just go ahead and call it the company car. However, it's gonna get a big build. Our goal is to add, implement everything we've been doing. And we wanna do essentially the same package, our 1100 horsepower package, our stage two plus on this package and really push it to the limits. Um, I feel that we kind of have fast the blue car as far as pushing to the limits because it's real wheel drive. So with this, the goal is to build it in under a week, take it to IFO, run it in eight seconds in the quarter mile, go about 208, 210 and a half mile. UGR went, I mean, I think they went 209. 209 in a uh, Huracan all wheel drive uh, with their stage two package, which is still stock engine car. So with them being able to go that fast, I know we could go that fast. We went 198 spinning first through third. So hooking ain't, ain't, ain't moving. So we're gonna try to redo it all again and essentially just have a car. So the people that are interested in, in, in wanting a twin turbo or a Huracan or the R8, they could come beat up on this and essentially experience what it feels like. Cause videos don't always do justice. We got our little main Kundo here. This puppy is a badass. Uh, in Washington. It's one of 25. Very, very beautiful car. The package is dope. Uh, stage two plus kit kit going on this. Since we kind of have nothing else to do on a Sunday, we figured just rip it all apart, get it ready for tomorrow. Uh, drop the tranny, do the clutch, get it running again by the end of the day, and then uh, do the fuel system on Tuesday, turbo kit on Wednesday, party on Thursday. Yeah. Shout out to my, to my dad for sponsoring this build. Um, beyond blast, you know, like, man, all these who's thinking, oh, he's daddy and mommy Spencer. I am, so what? Beat it. So, the local Chick fil A sponsored us because, like, we're big clients, and also, like, how the chicken is also a farm animal, you know? She was like the sheep, so they're like, oh, we're brothers or some shit, so. Don't ask me what the fuck I'm doing. My man Boyan in Dubai got me doing some shit. <laughs> you ready for some fuckboy shit? God damn it, boy. So when we experience, man, we do it on our own cars. <clears throat> you see this? I'm plugged into the transmission TCU. If I fry this motherfucker, we're about to spend another 35,000 bucks to buy a transmission. You got 35,000 bucks? I don't got 35. That means one of y'all is getting <laughs> God damn it, Bobby. You hear that? God damn it, we got juice. You guys see, remember that post we did? Look at these bitches. Monday morning, they're already torn apart. I'm gonna start wearing gloves. My hands are all fucked up. You like the man hands. Shut the fuck up, kid. He likes his hands soft. Oh, I can wiggle them, look. <laughs> fuck boy. All right, it's Monday, and it's fucking go time. Thank you to the owner of that car for buying everybody Dinner. We sent uh, Alonzo a big lunch tab. Our allowance for the week. Fucking hey, damn near buying us lunch all week, dude. Did we get sponsored? What the hell was it, bro? Sponsored I thought Chick Fil A sponsored us, bro. You know, cause like sheep and, and the chicken and stuff. You the know. The fuck's that supposed to mean, Johnny? Farm animals. Um, a couple things. Um, as you know, it's a standalone car, so there's gonna be sa sa safety things. Yeah. For example, if you're ripping on it and you see a check engine light flash, right? Yeah. Um. There's gonna be warnings and thresholds. 
say you're up, you're, you're racing and you're shifting, like, and you see a check engine light flash, yep. you know, but the car doesn't nose over or doesn't do a cut, yeah. you can stay in it. Once it does a cut, something, something's up. It didn't like something, so you let out, and that's why you always need to carry your laptop. Okay. Then you'll, I'll teach you how to pull the data log, yeah. and then I'll, I'll teach you all about data logs. Oh, she becomes a Honda building Lambos and yeah. the big boys. 
you know, so. Yeah, yeah. It's like some that are a part of it. Oh, yeah, they are, because I've, 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 I've worked with a lot of Honda, yeah. tons of Honda people, you know? Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, she can build Lambos now, you know? And they're very yeah. proud. And the cool thing is, from. right, and yeah. the thing is, I still sell Honda stuff. Yeah, yeah. So they're even proud of You didn't abandon them, you know? Like, no. you still, still support them. I still sell all that shit, so then like yeah. they feel even cooler. Like I have to cheap. I got a cheap. Yeah, it works well. It's double, double. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's get up. I'm, I'm telling you, bro. I, I told you when I was talking to you, you'll you'll want to drive this shit all the time. Yeah. They're the funnest car in the world. So crazy. Drag racing is cool, but like yeah. drive, have being able to drive oh, these yeah. things on the road. That's why, like last night, there was a meet, and I was like, oh man. I wish I was there. Yeah. You know, like, yep. just be able to go to those events and just, you know, driving around town, like, enjoying it. dinner. Yeah, you know, dude. It's like, That's the beauty of these big power cars. Lambo. motorcycle call sheriffs so luckily they didn't see me there it is old 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 kicks 
Old cakes. <laughs> no more, no more fresh cakes. <laughs> you know what's fucking and what sucks is that everybody's always. This is always gonna be your car. You know that, right? This is no, this is not gonna be Sheepy's car. This, this is a fresh cakes old car. <laughs> People can stop bugging me about this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make a post about it, so then that way they, they just know. Fuck. Yeah. At any time, that thing's even in the background, bro. At Fresh Kick. How's that? What's up, everyone? We're out here. We're gonna be taking some quick photos of this before it leaves the shop in a few days or so. Uh, we got my good friend of mine right here, guy with a camera. Hello, I'm 415. here. 415. <laughs> also known name. as Daniel. That's my name. <laughs> yeah, so he's out here. Can you visit and? Uh, we're gonna go shoot some photos. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> welcome, brother. Thank this you. Thank you for having we're me. We're out here at the shop and stuff. We're about to go shoot some rollers. Big thank you to my boy uh, Alonso for providing us with this beautiful whip. It's pretty loud, pretty nice. Not bad. No, not bad at all. Not bad at all, bro. Welcome, bro. This is uh, Daniel. Hello. Bronstein, right? Bronstein, Bronstein. Bronstein. Just, just call me Daniel. Yeah, That's great. Right. This is Daniel. Yeah. Uh, also known as guy with a camera 415 on Instagram. That's my Instagram. He is a automotive photographer and overall a great photographer for like pretty much any middle field. That thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. it. I try. Oh yeah, bro, for sure. Oh, the yeah, lighting sure. is perfect right now. We're looking at some overcast skies, so I think we'll get something good out here right now. <laughs> yeah, you know, downpipe is nice. <laughs> it, is, it is, bro. It is. Going with uh, 1 over 25 shutter speed, f10 for our aperture, and ISO 100. I think generally a rule of thumb, or the rule of thumb, however you want to say it, uh, for rolling shots is like whatever speed you're going, you do half of that for the shutter speed. Yeah. At least that's how I do it. I'm not a professional. I do this for fun, more or less. So yeah. don't quote me on that. Bro, pretty much me. I just like put whatever like shutter speed. Yeah, whatever looks good. I can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you I, definitely want to use a higher aperture to get more in focus, and then. For the shutter speed, I just go with whatever looks like the perfect amount of blur, but at the same time, the exposure is right. So there really is no science to it. People ask all the time, you know, what are your settings for rollers? And I just go, you know, whatever looks right. We're gonna do it on this road. Let's do it. Man, I think sounds insane. That spool is. Yeah, we, we only shoot rolling shots out of a window without a seatbelt in Mexico. Please, if you're watching this and you're trying to attempt to take some rolling shots of your car, your friend's car, whoever is, make sure you go to Mexico because it's illegal to be doing this sort of activity out in the U.S. So we took a quick trip down to Mexico. It took us about 30 minutes because the cars are fast. So. Yeah, literally, bro. Like John's having fun. Such a nice car, though, dude. Alonso, you have a beautiful car, bro. Agreed. Paint is nice too. It's like a frozen silver. It's a uh, wrap, bro. Oh, it's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. Oh, it almost looks like paint. Speak to uh, Reyes. Yeah. Is this, Re is this Reyes? Yeah, this is Reyes. How are you this morning? I'm doing well. How are you? Can I ask this 
Uh, this is Alex from Sheepy Race. Oh, what's up, man? Oh, smack, dude. Can't believe this is really you, dude. Is it really you? <laughs> yeah, I'm just a human, bro, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, how are you, man? I'm That's good. I still having my break, you know. I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> okay. How are you, so? If he can't give you the the time off, I could wait for you a little bit if you want to swing by, so we could so we could talk in person, right. go over some things. All right, awesome, dude. I appreciate that. Uh, can I give you a call back for um, like a second? Yeah, call back. Just talk to Alonzo. He'll deal with it. All right. All right. Thank you, bro. Appreciate no, that. No problem. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, I was pumped up. I wish everybody was excited to talk to me like that. Fuck. Most of the time, it's like, what do you want? So. Clearly last vlog made it a point that we needed somebody. Thank you to everybody that's been reaching out. We've had hundreds of people, literally hundreds. And FYI, if, if we replied to you, we clearly replied to people what we wanted. And the littlest tasks, you know, go a long way. The littlest things that are often overlooked. A uh, little advice to people that um, did exactly opposite of what we asked you. And when we say we're gonna get to you, that is crap. You know, simple thing of reply, send us the video that we asked for, we will get back to you. We don't need follow ups. First and foremost, follow the simple instructions, right? Um, well, and, and I had this talk with another colleague of mine uh, that they teach you to be persistent. Don't be persistent when we tell you not to be persistent. Just follow the order, you know, the instructions, and we'll get back to you. That's why that guy got a call. Weird thing, I think he was the first one, right, Alonzo? That guy was the first one that sent us a video. And it's been what, three days, four days. And guy has not been persistent. He listened to instructions, so he got a call from me directly. Anyways, we'll see how this works out. We're gonna interview three three people and see who we bring on. For now, I gotta take some calls. Good morning, Cheapy.